What's up everyone? Kyle B, you know me. Today we got an unboxing video for you and it is the Pixel Book 2. And uh, I don't know about any of you guys, but I'm really excited about Google and I can't wait to get my hands on this. But you know we had to also get the pen as well. Can't wait to use this either. So, how many of you guys actually know all about Google? Do you guys have G Suite? Do you use Google Docs? Do you go in and out of collaboration tools with other coworkers, employees, friends, school teachers, anybody? Because the simplicity and how awesome it is to work together and work seamlessly, having unlimited storage, everything beyond everything. Just the, the ease of use of being able to have everything you need all the time is what makes Google incredible. Now, I've been Mac for a very, very long time, but I've been using Google products on my Macs for a long time as well. And I can't wait to see how this performs compared to the Mac. Honestly, I know this thing doesn't have as much power as you might need for running, let's say, Photoshop or Illustrator or maybe CAD or something like that. But for everything on the go, collaboration, needs, ease of use, and portability sake, this is the best possible bang for your buck. And I can't wait to actually play with it. So let's get to it. So first impression, beautiful box layout design. Uh, let's look over here. I know this is normally the non-important stuff, but yeah, nothing. Uh, we got a couple power cords and the brick, which this is a nice, neat, small little power brick. I guess it is kind of a tablet. Bust her out in all her glory, all her thin, thin glory. I know that's everybody's favorite part. Wow, this thing is freaking gorgeous. Meow. Say hi to the camera. All right. Let's see. Decent spacing on the keys. Very easy to turn. There's no need to break her in. She can be a tablet, a laptop, a surface. I do that one too. I don't really think you should do this one though. Shut up, Alexa. We're not talking to you today. Just like the Pixel. I don't know how many of you have actually uh, opened up the Pixel. Um, startup is pretty much exactly like the Pixel. We're going to pick our Wi Fi and we'll be right back. And we're back. So we finally got in and we're signed in now. So all we have to do now is kind of just play around and see if we like it. Alright, so one thing right away that I'm just kind of like thinking out loud here, you know, I might eat my words soon, but um, I thought that everything was going to be kind of like the Pixel, like the phone, where when you had, like, this was all app based. So when I clicked on the Gmail icon, it actually brought me into 
a Chrome browser loaded up with Gmail. Did it very quickly, but I just thought this was going to be an app-based kind of application. And maybe I just didn't read the read the thing right, but we'll find out. I can't eat. So what did we watch when we initially got this? There it is. Though. I'll know if they're lying to me. Do you think this is? Because it's a G Suite account, I have to give you permission. Bad demo, but we're going to figure it out. And I'm really excited to open up the Pixel Book pen. And they were saying on the, on the demo that you could just circle something and your Google Assistant will figure out what it is. Which is pretty interesting to me because... Uh, if you're familiar with Siri or Cortana or Alexa, any of those ones, they're fairly good at answering questions, but Google has them be by far with the intelligence and in question answering and setting timers and all that other crap. Um, anything good in here again? Nope. Oh, so this is battery operated, which I don't hate. I think it's a bold statement, but it's better than having to recharge your pen every... How long does this thing last? I had to charge my Apple pen like every like three days or something like that. But here it is in all its wonderful glory. There is a push button right here. I'm assuming that's for selection. There are different things you can do with this, such as straight down is going to be a, a straight tip. If you want more of a shading aspect, if you're drawing, you can put it on an angle. And then it's got force touch as well. So essentially, depending on how hard you depress on the screen, more or less is going to become of whatever you're working with. And let's see, it just screws off. And let's see which side down. You gonna tell me? So this is a quadruple A battery. No focus. I wonder how hard these are to find. Let's see. You pick right up. Yep. All right. Final thoughts. I do like this thing. I don't know how to use it yet, but I think that it's going to take over the space in my backpack that I use with my MacBook now. I think that once everything gets sorted out and I stop trying to use my Mac gestures and you know once I figure out the beauty and simplicity of this thing, I think that in combination with this and Google Suite, Drive, everything, that this is going to take my productivity and usability up to the next step. Um, like I said, if you guys aren't familiar with it already, please, please get antiquated with all the Google products. Google will probably, and this is a KB Predicts moment, own everything in like three to five years. So, uh, not, not really is that a bad thing though, because all their stuff works, it works great, and 99% uh, of the time I'm happy with just about everything that they do. The only thing that I wish they would make better is Google Play Music. I want it to be completely cloud-based where I can go from one device to another and it pick up at the same spot, just like Spotify does. There might be a reason why they don't have that yet, but that's for another story. Again, Kyle B, you know me. This is the Pixelbook. Start smart, stay smart.